hi welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial I want to show you guys how to replace a multiple lines with you know any information okay so for example I have this link and uh, across all the files and I don't want this link again so I want to chop off this particular link from this you know file so what I have to do I just have to press Control shift and F right so you can see already by the left hand here I'm seeing you know um, I'm a search box okay so I only press control shift and F okay so I'll just you now copy what you actually want to find so I actually want to find all of these across the files I across all the files I have so I have to copy them copy just one of it okay that represent all of them so you copy and you paste it right behind where you open your shift control f all right so you paste it control v so you can see that all of them here is highlighted and not only this one anywhere it is across the files they will also be highlighted so you can scroll up to see okay you can see others where they are also highlighted too so other places they are highlighted so but before we, we before we do this let's just arrange this code so arrange your how to arrange your test on this code so i'll press ctrl a and press kelly bracket okay kelly bracket so i'm going to press it keep pressing it till the file get arranged okay so you can see that the files are properly arranged now okay now i say ctrl ctrl and kelly bracket all right brace bracket you can call it a brace bracket or kelly bracket brace bracket so that's to arrange your files okay in visual studio now let's continue so what we are trying to do is just to replace uh, this line of course anywhere it is across the files we want to you know replace it with something else or leave it empty so how to go about this now i've copied it you know i copied it i remember i said before we can you know copy before we can get the search bar we press Control shift and F okay it will show us um, a, a search bar by the left hand and we can copy whatever things we want to you know change or replace copy it and paste it inside okay so already you can see in this file it's showing us we have 200 and 224 uh, of this same information in our files okay we're having 224 of this information in our files so now we want to replace this information with something else or keep it empty okay so by how to do that we just come here and hit this button you can see this toggle is called toggle replace so you click down just click down it will turn down so if you leave it empty that means you don't want anything to to be in that place you just want it to be empty but if you want to replace something that means eventually you can provide something here that would you know replace this particular image but for now i don't want anything to be there so i'm going to chop it off so what i have to do uh, i have to hit here which is replace all so i'll click it and it's saying replace 224 occurrence across one file okay so the good thing about this is that even if those information are in other files even there are 100 200 500 files it's going to chop all of them off or replace all of them with that particular information you provide for replacement all right so let's hit replace okay good now you can see that we don't have those information here again let's scroll up you can see in any of the part we go we don't have those information there again you can see that all of them has been taken off we can see it here see all of them have been taken off all right so we can still arrange this um code by pressing ctrl a and brace brackets all right like to be properly arranged into a and brace bracket so you can see how we did we just you know find a single way of replacing a particular test okay so this is how to handle this request if you have any question or any challenge you can drop it at the comment below and i will answer any of your question if you find this video interesting please subscribe for more video like this and to go back to your files quickly to go back to your files if you don't after you've done with your search you want to go back to your file click on view and go to explorer okay so all your files are back again all right thank you for watching please subscribe for more wonderful videos like this